not a sponsored video. It's gorgeous! Oh, 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 look at that view! Today we're gonna see what's inside the world's first water tower house. It's right here. Check it out. This is a house that is made out of a water tower. That's right. We are exploring unique places and seeing what's inside of them. You saw our airplane video that we did in Costa Rica. You saw our doomsday bunker that we did in an undisclosed location in the middle of America. Well, here is the third part of that series. This week is our spring break. We decided to come out to California, come out to Seal Beach, California, and rent this place for the entire week. This is one of Southern California's first ever landmarks, and this thing was built in 1892. Back in the late 1800s, there were trains that went down the California coast and this water tower would give water to the steam engines. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It may be the best beach house on the whole west coast of America. Check out how thick this door is. It's metal and glass. Really, really nice door. First thing, there's a bedroom on the main level. This is where the guard will sleep down here, the security guard. Now this stairwell right here isn't much to see, but it's important for emergencies. This is a little patio where you're just a little bit off the ground right here. You're at the same level as some of these other roofs. This is the fire exit. This stairwell will take you all the way up and connect you to the main part of the house. You need to have a fire exit. This is a wooden structure. There's two ways to get upstairs. One is the fire escape that's up the porch that I just showed you. The other one is, of course, an elevator. It's a little slow. Come inside the world's smallest elevator. It's really small. And let's go and see what's on the next floor. <laughs> This is a really small elevator. We all kind of fit in here. Just oh, look barely. Look, see, look, D. So D is next. So we're going to the top. I pushed H. Oh. Wow, we made it. Everybody get it. Oh. oh my gosh. Just the natural light. Oh my gosh. It's gorgeous. <laughs> oh, look at that view. What is this? Look how big the windows are. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh. There's the road that we drove in on. There's the beach. You can see it all along there. Big old boats. There's a there's a railroad track up here. Okay, the decor is very cool. Binoculars everywhere. A cool light that looks kind of like it's from like a, a lighthouse, like you're, you're signaling to somebody. And then the spiral staircase that goes from this level up to the next two levels. It's a really unique touch to a water tower. This nice metal table right here for everybody to dine on. The kitchen is right off to the side. If you're gonna be cooking, wouldn't you wanna have this view and just be like cooking, 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 cutting up vegetables, breakfast, and then seeing the beautiful ocean? It's a great spot for a kitchen. And then just off this main area is the second bedroom. A really small bedroom. This is what we call the pirate room. If your kids are scared of skeletons and pirates, maybe this isn't the room for them. They maximize the space really well by having a bunk bed in here and then some really cool decor like this lock that looks like it's from the 1800s. Right next to that is another bathroom for if you're on the main level. Just a small bathroom with a toilet like a half bath, but one of my favorite features is the boat looking window. Looks like you're on like a cruise ship and you feel kind of like a cruise ship because you're so high off the ground. We're about 80 feet off the ground right now. These doors are very heavy, oh, but they do open. And you can walk out onto this patio that has the most amazing view of the ocean. This goes 360 degrees around. Oh wow, that looks scary. But this is an outdoor stairwell. And I would not want to be here in a fire. All the way around. 360 degrees. It's windy out here. When you're driving down the street, you see this thing from in the distance. It's pretty impressive. About 40 years ago in the 1980s, this structure was set to be demolished and taken down. But it wasn't until local residents got together with a Save Our Tower initiative. I know, it sounds like something from like Back to the Future or something. They actually saved the tower and some investors came in and purchased it, built this thing up and turned it into this amazing restoration house. There are two garages in this place. They are rather small. I parked the Tesla inside of it and I couldn't even open up the doors. There's one over here that has three bikes that you can take to the beach, some boogie boards, surfboards. When you live close to a beach, it's very easy to get your cars broken into in California. So it is nice to have a garage if you need it. This is the deck. And other than an amazing view that you see of the ocean, the other thing we have here is the tiny spot. It looks really small because it is a little bit small, but it's actually bigger than you think. It has deep. I got in it last night and the view was beautiful. Today it's a bit windy out here. You can see the fire escape stairs that can take you down in case of an emergency. You also have um, some nice birds here that protect you from other birds, I guess, which 
I think is a thing, because look at that. We'll be almost 100 feet off the ground at the top of this thing. It makes it one of the largest houses in America. So let's go see house level number two. And to get there, you can't take an elevator. The only way is on these really cool spiral staircases. This, I would imagine, could be for the elevator, but they don't have the elevator that comes up here. Maybe it got too tight. I don't really know. We have two rooms. Let's go this way first. The decor kind of changes to like this white theme with nice stained glass in this bathroom right here. A really big, nice shower with beautiful tile and a nice stained glass window on there. And then the master bedroom, number one, that I really like the decor in here with the white and blue panels in here. Three big windows that look out onto the ocean and a nice king bed with like light blue decor. This is my kind of style. It just feels like really beachy and really nice. Is that even a word? I don't know. If you want to sit down here and do some writing, look out on the ocean. Look at that old photo of when it was an actually a water tower. Wood beams on the ceiling, really cool. You kind of come around this circle and here is master bedroom number two. This room has a bit different of a style. It's more golden. You've got a king size bed, nice dresser. Again, another TV that is actually built in. Check it out, they even like cut apart this part for the remote right there and the buttons. Lots of mirrors that leads into the Foley mirror toilet room. There it is. This is the bathroom. So um, I don't know. I kind of think it's a weird thing when somebody's like in the bathroom on the toilet and they can see themselves. Like, hi. Hi, I'm going potty right now. This is the master bathroom shower for here. The floor is made out of rocks. This is a giant shower head up here. Look at that thing. It is so big and it drops right down you like rain. Here's this interesting speaker that has a light that's in the shower right next to where the water comes out. Music. That's all the music I can get it to make. That's a big shower. That's nice. Two full bathrooms, two full master bedrooms inside of the second level, the main level. This is the downstairs bathroom, and why am I showing you a bathroom? Because it actually is a themed bathroom. It's called burlap and barrels, because I guess in the 1800s, trains carried two main commodities, liquids and solids. The solids were carried in burlap bags, and the liquids were carried in barrels. So this bathroom was designed based off of that theme. It's a really small bathroom, but it works. It has a really nice shower that has these metal things on the bottom of it that kind of feel interesting on your feet while you're taking a shower. There are actually barrels in here for the sink. It's built into a barrel, and then also for the hair dryer and your toiletries. That's pretty cool. There's a small barrel there. There's a small bathroom. And now that takes us to the last floor on the house, the party floor. Whoa. Oh Whoa. Whoa. Hi, keys. Whoa. This is the best one. <laughs> it's so scary, Why are there so many TVs? One, two, oh, three, TVs. four TVs. I this big old this. thing. We got oh, Pac-Man oh, over here. What? This is like a real metal. Star looking thing. Wait, it's a fan up in the ceiling. You have these, this big couch that goes along the whole side. These really cozy chairs here. Look at that view. That's the pizza couch. Oh, look at this aquarium thing. I think you can even look down. Oh no, those are mirrors. This is the party room. This is the ultimate room to have people over. They say in the listing for this place that you can have nine people stay here and up to 20 people actually be here as guests. I would imagine there have been some events or some parties on this top floor that have included a lot more than 20 people. One, two, three, four TVs that are up here. 360 degrees of windows. Windows. The whole way. I don't know how cool this looks right now, but I'm still doing it because I think it probably looks really cool. <laughs> this would be the bar, so if you are having an event or a party, you can have all your drinks out there. There is a refrigerator right there, a little heating thing. It doesn't have water in it, but inside of this aquarium are original parts from the water house. So if you're thinking of staying here, you can go on to, I think it's VRBO, this is not a sponsored video. This is just something that we thought was very cool. How much will it cost? Well, right now it's in the off season. Right now it's around $500 per night, but during the busy season, during the summer when people are really coming to the warm California beaches, that can cost you upwards of $1,000 per night, maybe even more on certain nights. Is it worth the price? Maybe you can split up the rooms with a few families and split the cost. I think it can be worth it. It's definitely a once in a lifetime experience. So that's what's inside of a water tower house. If you guys have seen an interesting place that you think we should check out and see what's inside of and show you guys, let us know if you will check it out. Thanks for watching.
London's been at the beach for the last hour and she got all of these shells. Which one's your favorite? This one, definitely. Look at that shell. It's like the perfect looking shell. How was the water out there? I didn't get in, but Lincoln got smashed by a wave. Ooh. And Claire, I decided to just make sand castles. This is gonna be for audio for the drone shot right here. Hopefully it works, I'm putting it in between my legs. <laughs> it looks really small because it is a little bit small. Beachy. <sighs> Hi, going potty right now. Looks like it's been a few days since they've had a snap. That's a pretty clever sign. 